Would you rather have Starlink internet service or contact with alien civilization? Because I'm afraid Starlink satellites are interfering with the giant radio telescopes that are searching for extraterrestrial life. How are Starlink satellites blocking radio telescopes? Two different ways these radio telescopes can go. There are the huge ones, the one in Puerto Rico, which unfortunately collapsed. There's also like the Allen Telescope Array, which is actually 42 small dishes pointed at the sky in the middle of California. And together, all their signals get combined to make them act as one giant phased array listening to the sky for radio signals that could be aliens. And the problem is, of course, we've got Starlink satellites now coming by overhead, blasting internet radio signals down, which these telescopes are picking up. These Starlinks are agreeing to stop transmitting right as they go over these dishes so that they don't interfere with them. But there's another answer, the real answer, put this stuff on the far side of the moon, sometimes called the dark side of the moon, and you can go big. So you can take a crater that's three kilometers across, and then what they'll do, and NASA's really planning to do this, put little robots around the edge that have a mesh of wires going between them. And that mesh of wires, it's a radio dish. You put three more around the edge, which have tighter wires across them, and in the center of those three wires, you put the actual radio floating here in the air above the dish. So now this has turned into the world's largest satellite dish. 10 times larger than any radio anyone's ever built. And since it's on the far side of the moon, there's zero noise, zero interference. This is how you hear things from the far side of the universe. In conclusion, I want you to subscribe.